much good. First off, what I did right here, I killed it. Anyways, guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Coco with the flow. You ready, motherfucking? No, I've been this bitch. Yo, oh, mm, yo, mm, yes, uh, yes. And this is up, guys. Hey, what's up? I miss you so much, guys. Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are great. Grand and everything in between. And I'm good. Thank you for asking. Oh my god, like, <laughs> why wouldn't you like ask me? Like, where's the decorum? And as you can see, girl, look at what I did to this wig. I am loving it, and I'm just gonna keep this wig this way. Like. <laughs> I don't see it any other way unless I do it like this now. You know what I'm saying? Your style. Because I don't know the name. That's what I'm going to do. Until then. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Let me tell you something. I never gave Tyler a chance prior. And then I heard this song Overdue. No, I've heard Overdue before. But I guess I didn't listen to it well enough. Hey, I'm addicted to that song right now. So if you haven't, go listen to Overdue by Tyler. Because man... And it does get started with the video. So today we're going to be doing dilemmas from Reddit because I love Reddit. The dilemmas be juicy. They're so juicy that I want juice. Like, what was I even going to say? But anyway, they're just really juicy. So let's just get into it. Dilemma number one. The first off, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, but it is. It is good. Huh? Should I let a convicted pedophile pay for my college? Honey, even before you tell us the story, Odds are, no. I'm an 18 year old girl in the service industry. I am in the senior year of my high school. About 10 years ago, a coach from my school was arrested and convicted for sleeping with students. He served a little time, but now he's enjoying life as a free man with a decent amount of money. Why must you say enjoying life? Like, he did crazy things, sweetheart. But anyways, let's listen to you. He comes into my work pretty much daily sometimes twice a day he is known as a local as a local pedo and for the fact that he never tips so he has no morals and he's clearly demented as of recent eh, as of recently he started tipping me specifically instead of the communal tip jar he has been telling me how much he loves me and my service and that i'm always so nice he definitely has a good amount of money and I feel like I could get him to pitch in on my college fund if I play my cards right. Should I let a convicted pedophile pay for my college? Um, if you play your cards right, what you gonna give us my ass? What is playing your cards right? Sweetheart, let's talk about this. First off, hell no. It is not okay. Secondly, we know what he wants. This is not even something to be played with. This is a fucking convicted pedophile. This is not a guy who was convicted for tax fraud. You know what I'm saying, honey? As a teacher, you took advantage of his power. And you went for a, uh, you went for a minor. So, honey, right now what he's doing, he's grooming you. In my honest opinion, definitely not. Do not. You cannot take money from a pedophile, honey. Actually, I'm going at all costs, but God, because God knows what else he be doing. Okay? Next, diagramma. Listen to this. Sister-in-law tried to grope my fiancé. What do I do next? <laughs> Suck a bitch. It is. Let's just get into it, and we do not condone, condone violence on the, on the channel. We condone it, apparently. And let's, let's get into it. My sister-in-law, my brother's wife, tried to group my fiancé at a party we were both at. I wasn't in the room at the time, but my fiancé came and told me about it right away. So I have no reason to doubt his honesty in the situation. Let's just read this story. Let's just read it. We were at my brother's house at the time with a large group of our friends. She got quite drunk, so when my fiancé went upstairs to change into his outfit, as we decided to go to a bar, she allegedly followed him into the bedroom and closed the door. As she approached him, she went to feel him, but he stopped her right away, turned her around, and marched out of the room. He said it was a five-second incident, and he said, even though he knows it's unacceptable that she did this my fiance thinks that i shouldn't make a big deal of it or tell anyone else about it as he told me in confidence in confidence oh oh let's just continue all right also to mention i'm relatively close to my sister-in-law and she's even going to be my bridesmaid mm. and also my fiance and my sister-in-law dated for a very short period a few years ago 
what a revelation i'm sure you guys didn't know my mouth can go wide like that yeah yeah ah, don't be this bitch <laughs> i'm not sure what to do next i'm afraid to talk to her about it as i wouldn't even know what to say and i don't feel as though i can tell anyone else about it i'm not sure whether to just brush it under the rug and pretend i don't i didn't know what happened i don't want this to cause issues in a relationship as we have a good thing going so i don't want to keep badgering him about it as i'm worried he wouldn't tell me if something similar happened again i also don't want him to distrust confiding eh, me today i'm on a roll confiding in me if i run around and tell everyone what has happened any advice would be greatly appreciated all right from the top let's get it so she grew up to her husband who she dated in the past oof already things are just not looking so sweet over there they're just not looking too tight that's number one and number two this was this is the thing that just did me wrong which one was it i think she didn't make a big deal of it or tell anyone else about it as he told me in confidence are you his friend that he told this thing in confidence you are his fucking fiance okay this is your sister and law literally your brother's wife tried to grope your fiance do you see what kind of nonsense is going on and then he's saying in confidence in confidence she confidently grabs your shit bruh first off she's not your bridesmaid anymore let's start there you cannot trust a groping a groping bandit who just goes around groping niggas dicks but you can't trust her okay and honestly i don't know what's going on with your husband but i'm not liking him as well i'm not liking that he's moving because that's like i'm getting groped by my nigga's sister's husband wrote me and then i tell my nigga ati don't do anything i've told you in confidence leave it alone don't bread out proportion like what the fuck like we're just supposed to act like this nigga didn't just grab me and i don't want him to distrust confiding in me first uh, he's not confiding in you about someone else's secrets he got grouped by your brother's wife slash your good friend slash your bridesmaid slash his ex First off, the fact that that their exes is um, it's not they, it's not it's not kosher. No, they've had a past, and if they fucked, honestly speaking, I don't. This is not right. You know, she's probably thinking, hey, I miss that thing that was once mine. She, bring it here. I give it here, honey. Maybe let's say you don't want to blow it out of proportion because, hypothetically speaking, your man actually did do nothing about it, according to the story. So if you don't want to make a big deal, leave it alone but you're like you're not my bridesmaid if she asks you why ho oh, oh, let me tell you something that's stupid as you why bitch because if that was me but i've gone and looked for cctv footage and you're not talking to you don't say no no hapa ala kwa ni bwana yako alisema shika other than that definitely what you should do next avoid her at all cause she's not someone to trust and also keep a close eye on your nigga because he's moving funny auntie i've told you in confidence in confidence when you are gonna tell me why are you acting like this is something you wouldn't share bro like and my brother is just out here looking like a fool huh? his wife is out here groping niggas this is crazy i don't know if you should tell your brother though ah oh, damn me gonna look stupid <laughs> maybe just give your brother some subtle hints here and there me at all as I make an anonymous account on Instagram and text and say, "Hey brother, where you will be be ako na shikanga na kwasi kwandeke." Next up, Delama. Scare this one. I'm having an affair with my homosexual stepson, and I'm a man. Let's read, shall we? So I'm a 45 year old man, you are, and I moved in with my fiance a couple of months ago. We have been together for five years. Before we met, but before we met, she had kids with another man. She had a son who is 23 and homosexual. And one morning she had left to go to work, and when I was showering, it took off from there. My wife doesn't know yet, but I don't know if I should tell her. What are you going to say? Huh? What are you going to say? Like what the fuck are you going to say, bro? Oh my god. You have to leave her. Oh fuck this one's bad it's so bad oh my god first off I don't even know what to do like I I don't know you should have I don't know what to say oh god she has been not only betrayed by her husband you know your son fucked your husband bro like or is getting fucked by your husband either fucking way Oh my god, it's fucked up. 
hey those are scenarios you don't even think of happening like you don't eh? but you definitely need to tell her the truth you need to tell her what you're up to you and her son and leave her alone like just uh, oh just dump her leave her please because oh uh, well you guys are moving funny hey that is betrayal and of the highest order anyways that one's a bad one just tell her and beep her say i, I betrayed you i fucked up i fucked your son <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna leave. Can I take him with me? Oh, sorry, I was joking. Too soon. <laughs> Anyways, do you have to tell her? I mean, you just have to leave. Like you have to leave. Let her find love from someone who's just amazing. Cause you ain't shit for real. And the son, you messed up. You. It's time for you to get a job, honey, and get the uh, my house. Which is if you have my husband ass. <laughs> Next one. My girlfriend isn't allowed to date. Um, I'm assuming. Anyways, so my girlfriend and I have a dilemma. I'm allowed to date, but she's not. Is there any way that we can hang out but not have her parents find out? Oh, <laughs> they're children. Okay. <laughs> Next. I would just get this shit. Would it be gay for a man to suck on the horn of his unicorn wife if unicorns existed and had horns that detected wind direction and were basically Jizzle's pen penises? Well, honey, I don't, it, it doesn't make you straight either, so I think we are, we are headed the other way. So, you are gay. <laughs> And ain't nothing wrong with this really stuck on that unicorn horn. Next. In love with a married man. Hi, I'm in love with a married man. My dilemma is that he is a great friend of mine. And I don't know how he feels about me. I have not told him about my feelings either. So I don't know whether to tell him the truth. And then stop seeing him or continue to see him and hope my feelings for him will change over time. I suffer a great deal when I see him and after because... This is what I want a relationship with a man to be like. So it's a cruel reminder that I cannot have it. I vacillate. What the fuck? I vacillate. Girl, I gotta Google this word because I uh, waver between different options or actions. Being indecisive or oh, vacillate. You learn some no every day, every day. So I vacillate between severing the friendship and keeping it in hope of a change in my feelings or circumstances well i believe you should sever the friendship definitely this is a married man keep your feelings to yourself even if i not like you you know him well enough and the relationship is unhappy stay away stay away stay away it's okay to have those feelings you're a human being but one thing is for sure it's not okay to tell him because what do you want him to do leave his wife or something like and his wife probably even has doubts about you. Most likely, even the wife is like, hey, who you? And I'm going to And then she finds out something like that. Like that. Mm -mm. Definitely sever the friendship. Watch on a hair. Keep it light. Keep it very distant. That's the best way. Because there's nothing wrong with having feelings. It's a, You're a human being. It's all right. But you taking action would make you really messed up. So, watch on a hair. Let's do one more dilemma and I'm done. Shared someone's secret. What would you have done? It's long. I don't want nothing long like that. Unless it's my man's <laughs> brain. To go to school or go to sleep. <laughs> End of love. Oh, let's see this one. Drunkenly made out with my friend. I've had a crush on this guy for a long time. I attended the same party as him and his friend, which I'm also really close with. Let's call him Matt. Everything's going good. We're getting hammered and me in particular. I lost my crush in the crowd, but my drunken self didn't care much since he really, clearly wasn't interested. I go outside on this terrace thing. There I find Matt sitting by three rows of table and bench seats. Matt is sitting next to a friend when I wobbly sit across from him they're talking about how many girls matt has kissed and says let me tell you how english is fucking me up oh my god like i'm really like 
I'm dodging, I'm dodging. I'm dodging in proper drama here. Wow. Because she says Matt have kissed with ah uh ah, -uh, okay. Yes. And he says it was three but could only remember the name of two of them. I helped him remember the names with the last one. Turns out the third was my best friend. I sit in front of him about ten inches apart. He starts to smoke and I tell him to slap me if I smoke. He slaps me. Ah we look on a dive eater. And I laugh, asking him why, since I didn't take the cigarette he offered. We laugh and put our foreheads together, and before I could think about it, we were making out. He stopped, I looked, I looked at him, and said, was I your number four? He answered with, that was four. Whereas I slapped him, he slapped back, okay, and we made out again. Mm, that's a new form of BDSM. We did that, I, we did that all over again one more time before I pulled away and walked inside to the music again. Eh, Joe, take a big coffee, Jenna. <laughs> now, my dilemma, I do not find him attractive. He is my close friend and he is very funny. So I'm afraid of it being awkward. I'm afraid that I'm starting to catch feelings for him. I really don't want to, partly because I would make everything complicated and partly because he would never put anything in it. He kissed many that night and does so every night out. What do I do? Do I pretend that I can't remember kissing him? Do I ask him if he remembers who I kissed? Do I confront him about it? What can I do to prove that it's getting awkward on my side? Maybe you can just talk about it. Just communicate and say, you, since you guys were friends initially, just be like, yeah, it's awkward. Uh, talk, communicate, be honest. I know it's hard, but if you're able to slap each other, you can, you, you can, uh, I'm, I'm sure you can communicate. So just tell him it's getting awkward between us and I want to talk about it. And yeah. Also, don't pretend you didn't kiss him. Don't, don't do that. If he pretends, however, that, you know, what, I don't remember. Una move on my life now. I talk to you on get and I was like, eh, so, cheers. But just, just be honest and say it's getting awkward, like, after the kiss that we shared. Be honest. That's it. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy my dilemmas. And I love doing these Reddit episodes, Twitter episodes. They just really bother me. They make me laugh. They make me happy. And I love these dilemmas, man. The one that... The homo, the guy who slept with his wife's son, oh, that's brazy stuff. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you would like to purchase some beautiful bags and some beautiful wigs, go to atqualitybeauty.ke, link in the description box below. So you can cop yourself some hot ass wigs and some beautiful handbags as well. I love you guys. Stay tuned for an episode next week. I love you. God bless you. Bye.